Today, we're going to talk about, surprise, surprise, the thing I always talk about, which is how can we integrate paid search and SEO data to make better customer experiences and potentially save some money? All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the upside down question mark. Yeah, the upside down question mark. Recently, I was digging into a client account. I was just doing some research and I saw a Spanish word show up in their account. And I was instantly curious to say, well, how often are my clients potentially spending money on Spanish language queries? How can I scale that across our clients so I can have all of their backs in a quick five minute check every month? So let's go ahead and show you the current state of where we're at. Oh, we're seeing a bunch of sponsored ads here. And we can see that these advertisers are making sure that their ads actually match the language that the people are typing in. Then there's other times where you see like a Medicaid in Espanol or Medicaid application in Espanol. And you can see we've got ads here that are in English. How do we properly talk to people in the language in which they want to speak in? So I decided to use our join data to solve this problem for every client at scale in something that I built it in less than 10 minutes. And it's going to take less than two minutes for me every month to take a look and a scan to make sure I have my clients back. So let's go through some of the economics. So one of the clues that I realized that Google makes available to me in the organic search is in the people also asks, I get upside down question marks. That is going to catch almost all of my instances. So what I did is I went into supernova. I'm going to assume it's a Spanish language query. Then I took all the paid data and said for each client, what is their overall CPA? And then what's their CPA when these things show up? And you can see some clients are number 37 right here. They are spending over one and a half million dollars a year on words that contain the upside down question mark. And their CPA is actually half of what their typical CPA is. They're showing Spanish ads and landing pages and they're paying half of what their typical CPA is. This client right here in row 12, their traditional CPA is 40 bucks. When Spanish language is used, $72. They don't use us for paid. I mean, they've spent, uh, this client has spent $590,000 uh, this year on these words and uh, their CPA is significantly higher than it needs to be. This is the power of bringing together the paid and SEO data is I don't just have to do this with upside down question marks. So there's a bunch of different ways you can use these organic and paid data sets together to make specific insights. So where do we end up? Well, hopefully in the future, by doing this work, we can all save our companies hundreds of thousands of dollars. Hopefully we can also lean into all these DE&I statements about having representation in advertising. If you're interested in doing this, then we've got videos and I'll link to them below that show you how to take your paid search data, join it to your organic data. The tool that we were using at the time was Power BI. You might be able to do it in Looker. And we also were using Stat at the time to pull down a lot of our, our organic results. And I want you to have the opportunity to do the same thing as well. I've got a warning for you. If you're using Performance Max, remember all those gains that you got in terms of using Performance Max comes with a tax. And that tax is you don't get to see your search terms. And if you don't get to see your search terms, you can't run them in Google Organic to see where these discrepancies exist. All you got to do is take your paid word, run them through an organic uh, search tool and look for one simple upside down question mark to see if this is happening to you or not. And especially in this economy, you probably want to do this check and make sure that your company isn't overspending where they don't need to. And lastly, the beauty of using a tool like Supernova is I can set up in a little alert right here and I can go through any of my clients and they can say, Hey, Will, I am willing to build a new landing page. If I'm ever spending more than X percent of my spend or X dollars in a month. And if my CPA is X or Y, we just create these alerts. They won't hear from us until it actually hits. That's the beauty of moving into a cloud-based system like Looker over some of the old videos you're going to see in Power BI. But you can do that there. You can do it here. Just get cracking.